Hello. Um, so this week I would like to show you two journals that in, I've been inspired by fossils. Um, and this is dragonflies. So it's not quite fossils, but you will see probably next week where I'm coming from. So I wanted vintage colors, color of sandstone, and sort of the dragonflies to look like as if they have been found as fossils in uh, in a rock. And uh, I also seen a program where uh, David Atimbra said dragonflies are like living fossils because they have been on this planet so many million years. And I made another set of journals with um, with shells, like an actual shape of a fossil embroidered in. And so, yeah, fo fossils have inspired me for this and the next set of journals. And I would like to show you, I made it from really vintage cheesecloth. That cheesecloth has been really aged and made these patterns, um, which I love, how the fibers stack together. And I wanted the dragonflies to be just sort of brown and uh, beige. And this is really vintage um, napkin and crocheted fabric that I rusted. There is a canvas underneath it. Everything is sewn and secure. Loads of laces, loads of linens. That's why I'm calling it linen and lace um, journals. And I wanted the color of rust and sandstone. And they are Th uh, 13 and a half centimeters by 21 so they are like um, moleskin size and I love how small and how nice you can hold them in your hand uh, and how chunky they are and how compact they are so uh, this one is on my Etsy and this one I'm just showing here for just so people can see and also to document my work. This one is sold. And I, that's another thing. I put my journals on um, Instagram. And if you like, then you can message me and buy them that way. You don't have to wait until they are on Etsy. There are no rules. So this one is sold. So it's got leather strap, beautiful rust, beautiful crochet fabric, and four signatures. And here we have that, um, that old cheesecloth again. So I'm gonna show this one because this one is on my Etsy. And so here is a leather strap with three holes that opens with this Tim Holtz metal thing. Um, so we go in and there is a pocket with linen and lace and sewn in dragonfly. This is a moss hand-drawn with Indian ink on handmade caddy paper. This is this is meant to be stuck to this, which I will do. This is um, over 100 years old antique book about beekeeping that I found in Czech Republic. And I picked out the pages with the lithographs, with the pictures. And I thought that would go beautifully with this journal because it's about insects and spring and because dragonflies live in uh, near water. It's about water life and all that summer pond stuff. So all the 
uh, pages are tea and coffee dyed. All the book pages are again the original book pages from Real Vintage Books. Here we have designer paper with dragonflies, uh, bags and beetles and everything. Print pocket, of all the prints are original work of mine. Here we have a beautiful vintage mushroom print. I've seen these on Etsy, these prints that are uh, the real prints from the books that I have. And they sell for 20 euros, just the piece of paper. I thought that's a bit crazy, but I, yeah. But they are in every one of my books and they really are beautiful. Here is a phone book page. Here is a map of a um, lake that I have embroidered on canvas, on gessoed canvas. That's a lake called Loch Key, which is uh, near my area where I live now in Ireland. And that's the islands in the lake. That's some houses around the lake. That's the road. So I thought that would be cool to embroider a map like that because usually I do urban maps. So I enjoyed doing that. Um, loads of different papers and textures. Onion skin paper, music paper, vintage file folder I found in charity shops. I found a whole bag of them, so I'm using them up. Here is... Uh, this plant this is one print well it's not one print it's two prints one is on black one is on white but this is half of the same plant and this is the other half of the same plant so this is a pocket on linen black linen and this is handmade paper pocket with linen print on it from book page with f for no reason um, line three Fern pocket, original print on linen. This uh, grows everywhere. Is it the horse tail? I don't know. It grows everywhere in Ireland at this time of year. And pink paper, mushrooms. This is beautiful vintage book that I got from Czech Republic with mushrooms this time and some bluebells map of Britain ducks because we spoke about the pond I tried to put maps in map pages in and flips with water in them um, so they go with the theme so here is the flip. This is a River X in X mode. Book pages. Square. Oh, this is a tag. You can stick some papers in there. Like a little envelope and another moth hand drawn with ink. Acrylic ink in terracotta color. Drawn by me. Here is the end of the signature. So this is rusted linen and a linen napkin with a crochet around it. So that was perfect size. And I wanted this page to go together as well as this page goes together. So this is black and rust. So here is a linen napkin rusted and black black and white print on canvas and a little tag rose hip yellow flip onion skin paper some little dragonflies here and insects it's got three signatures this is a tag on handmade paper with some original print it's got three signatures and uh, it's got, I don't know, maybe look at this really vintage book page, really hard as well in the middle. I love it. All meadow flowers, 
everything is starting to bloom this time of year here three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so that's 28 times two is 56 so there is hundred and nearly 170 pages front and back in the journal 170 pages both sides front and back if i'm counting each side this one and that one so that's a page so here we have some grasshoppers i have been painting drawing a lot of ink drawings with grasshoppers i might show them on this channel soon so i'm very inspired by insects at the moment here is this pocket this is linen lace um cloth that i printed on and i stuck it on this really vintage linen here and i printed over it and it created this beautiful pattern and i put this fern leaf on it and here is another tag which is brown and white seed head and this is the last signature so it's got three signatures and 170 pages but it's got actually four signature because the fourth signature is this large pocket this is really thick canvas really really thick so it's very sturdy also on around it's printed by it's printed by me and coffee dyed and sewn around all finished and inside is eco printed booklet with moleskin coffee dyed paper just for you to take notes or whatever and this is a printed canvas pocket where i was imagining that this book is small enough to take with you to nature to the garden you can put things there if you flatten some leaves or plants uh, dry them out maybe you want to put them there or notes or seed packets uh, anything you can put in these pockets and it's they are thick and sturdy and everything is sewn around properly so that's the fourth signature here is more space to put something look at the texture on this the paint it's all textured stunning and here is a sketchbook which is sewn and here is a book plate where you can put name of the sketchbook um, here it is the closure that's um, black elastic i put the finishing of the signature on outside so it doesn't get bulky inside the back is made out of card caddy paper card with sewing pattern decoupaged on it and so the cover is sturdy it's got some lizard lizard paper inside and it's got onion skin paper it's got caddy handmade caddy paper 350 gsm which is beautiful this is the one i draw on with my inks and it works fantastic with water it's a watercolor paper it's got the the edges you see the torn edges and i put um glassine real glassing paper in between it so if you want to use something like pastels it won't smudge on the other page because the glassing protects it so it's got few of those pages it's got eight papers 16 pages onion skin paper here we have this um, hole metal fitting closes like this and that can be put inside there and then i wanted to explain this fabric this cotton 
uh, that I put on the inside of the book. I dyed it with brown textile dye and I wrapped it around a um, wooden dowel and put a string over it. And I was hoping it's gonna make this pattern. I left it in brown dye then overnight and it did make this pattern. I just thought to go with the fossil team and the browns and blacks and beige. So, and then we have this leather strap sewn with three stitches there. So this book is compact it's a a5 it's a standard size and it's got this pocket and sketchbook with it so this book is now in my etsy shop there is only one unfortunately so thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you next week